Hi everyone, Colin here. Um, first of all, you guys deserve an explanation for why episode releases have been so, well, sparse to say the least. For the last two years I've been trying to get to episode three, but a lot of setbacks have been occurring that uh, have only just recently been resolved. My uh, previous co-host who was meant to uh, help uh, to be a part of this episode and future ones uh, backed out and uh, was unable to uh, participate and uh, I gave the but they didn't tell me that they di weren't interested anymore and so for the last couple years I've been trying to make things work and it's just been a bust so I apologize I'm going to try to do better in the future. This is mostly my fault. And, uh, yeah. But I do have some good news. Episode 3 is currently in production. And uh, we have been making some major progress with m uh, me and my new co-host, who has uh, very happily, regre thankfully, agreed to uh, step in. But... In the meantime, I feel that you guys deserve a little something, and so I have put together a little special video for you guys in order to uh, give you something to enjoy while episode 3 finishes up. Hope you enjoy. Let's get this show off to the right start by looking at an unknown game for an unknown system. But first, a little backstory. Okay. Yes! <clears throat> of course, when Zelda was the huge hit that it was, competitors were quick to offer their own takes on the genre and created some cult classics of their own. Games like SNK's Chrysalis or The Guardian Legend by Compile. Now there's one other thing I haven't mentioned yet about Golvelius, and that's the fa- Ugh, the fact. The fact. Now there's one thing I haven't mentioned yet that deserves mentioning. <laughs> now there's one other thing that I haven't- God, I'm such an idiot. But let's not end this review the same way. Three good versions of this game still exist, and, and fans are still playing them today. And that's the important thing. Oh, man. For 25 years, we've been waiting to see what happened to Kalasis and Reyna. And... Well, that's a secret, but... Well, that's all for the first episode of Games You Haven't Played, but stay tuned because more episodes are definitely on the way. <sighs> I can't remember my lines. If you have any comments, okay. Well, that's all for this episode of Games You Haven't Played, but stay tuned because more episodes are definitely on the way. <sighs> can't remember my lines! Hello? <laughs> Compiles lesser known Zelda clone, Golvelius. God damn it, reflection. <laughs> the Master System, known in the US, uh, <laughs> if only I could, you know, get someone to like just CG everything so it fits together and I didn't have to work. Where's George Lucas when you need him? The power light doesn't come on. Okay, that'll make it very clear that I'm screw faking this. <laughs> Wasn't sure if it was recording. Oh, God. 
Once installed into an American or European master system, this product will allow you to experience the FM sound of supported master system games without hassle. Once installed into an American or European master system, you, this product will allow you to experience the FM sound of supported master system games without... Oh God, I totally look like I'm reading off the script too. Oh God, if only I could mount it higher up so it looked like I was looking at the camera. I don't know. Once installed into an American or European master system... Am I holding this upside down? No, I'm not. Oh God damn it. All you do is plug the expansion board into the expansion slot. Well, duh. Now some models of the Master System don't have an expansion slot like the Master System 2. My foot is falling asleep. <clears throat> oh my god, my hair looks horrible! Some games for the Master System do not have FM soundtracks. And some games that do have them will only have them on Japanese copies of the game. Uh, line. <laughs> okay, I can record. I, mean, I don't understand this camera at all! However, there are some Western exclusives that have FM soundtracks. And those are only viewable, or... <laughs> eyes or ears column. Oh, okay. Let's let the intro run. Maybe. Eventually. What'd I do? Did I find a bug? I mean, it's just like the screen disappeared, but I guess it still thought I was at the menu. What the f What the hell? And when I turn the system back on, it will now be playing FM sound when I turn it back on. I just repeated myself, didn't I? God damn it. I probably could have scripted this a little better. I will now give an, eg an examination. I am your teacher. You will listen. And then I will demonstrate first the PSG sound, which is what you are probably familiar with. And then the FM sound. We'll use Golvelius as our test subject. Let's get it on. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, God. Turning on the power now. Did I forget to switch it back to PSG? I did, didn't I? Ah, God damn it, I ruined a perfectly good tank. While there were a few... <clears throat> oh boy, I've got froggy throat. Damn it! <laughs> Luckily, this story has a happy ending. Hardcore Master System fans have found a way to modify their consoles to support FM by soldering in a new circuit board to the sound hardware, allowing you to play these games with FM sound as they were meant to be heard. Stay tuned after the... <clears throat> oh boy. Broken throat. <laughs>